Hi, this is Diane, and this is my regular I'm in DC at the airport vlog because I'm going to NIH. I'm going to go see the doctor. Just arriving at the hotel, and you know, it's the little things. They gave me a little gift bag with like a water bottle in it, and then they put me in this big room uh, with a couch. It's large, and I'm on the 11th floor. On the good side of the building, too. I don't know why these things matter to me, but I do enjoy the little perks of being a frequent guest of the hotel. <laughs> I guess it doesn't take much. Are you ready to see the gift bag? Got a thank you note. Thank you for being an Elite Discoverist member. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Aquafina, if you want salt in your water, there it is. That should help me retain some water for my test tomorrow. How'd they know I love Sour Patch Kids? Basically my favorite. Hershey's Bar and Kind Bar. Blueberry Vanilla Cashew. Okay, I'm totally gonna eat everything that's in there. It's gonna help me get by on my trip. That was great. So let's just say a dollar a piece would be $3 plus a water bottle. Even if they paid a dollar, four dollars plus a bag for a dollar. Okay, they spent five bucks, but oh, and the thank you note. Those aren't free. Oh, this is really lightweight paper. But hey, it counts for something. Last time the carpet was really bad. Let me see if the carpet's a little better this time. Yeah, it looks like they need to clean the carpets. Spacious. And I am out of my blood work. Forgot that I had to give a urine sample. <laughs> but fortunately, I drank enough water. It wasn't too bad. And then uh, went up, got my blood work. She did got it in the first try, which is always great. And now I have two hours before my MRI. And I am on the water only. That's a fun two hours. You know, doctor's offices. Hurry up and wait. Here's my double legging situation. <laughs> into a gown. Leggings. These are the leggings I almost left the hotel in, just these in a short skirt. <laughs> they do kind of make you look naked. They are just leggings. And there's the outfit. I made it back to the hotel. The shuttle came at, came at 1045. I got out of the MRI at 1045, so I caught it just in time before he was ready to leave. So I'm back at the hotel, at least for a pit stop. This is uh, a bowl, a Milano bowl from the brown bag place downstairs in the uh, hotel. And look at the day. Gray and rainy. Very Seattle day in Bethesda. I don't know if I'll make it adventuring. I'm afraid the sleep deprivation is going to get to me. I got to bed. I think I got to sleep about 11 or 12 last night, but then I had to get up at 5.15. And the night before I got to sleep at 11 or 12 and we had to get up at 4.30. It doesn't really add up to the right amount of sleep, so I'm afraid that this bed back here will be beckoning me. Good morning! Day three, our final day of the trip. Yep, it was just two nights. I didn't sleep last night, so maybe a four hour nap the day before was not helpful. I think I'm out of time to do anything fun. I have a doctor's appointment at one o'clock at NIH. However, I need to turn in my receipt at vouchers and there's no telling how long that's gonna take. We have to get to NIH a little early for that. I'm all packed up. So just to make sure everyone's in the blue, I have a rare disease called von Hippel lindau it causes tumors to grow in different parts of my body. For me, it is my eyes, my ears, my brain, my spine, my pancreas, and my kidneys. Some people with von Hippel-Lindau also get them um, on their adrenal glands and some get them on their reproductive organs. I don't seem to have them there. And I do not have the strain that causes the pheochromocytoma, which is the adrenal gland tumors. 20 years ago almost, it'll be 20 in August, I became a research participant in the National Institutes of Health. They have me in five studies to follow the natural history of my disease and to see what they can do to prevent my untimely demise. I am in eyes, 
ears, pancreas, kidney, and brain and spine. They are studying this disease VHL so much because it is slow growing. If they can figure out how to treat the slow growing tumors that VHL patients have, they think that then they can apply those to faster growing tumors in the general population. Also, because VHL is inherited, they can follow whole families. And so that makes the research, it's easier. It's easier to find people. But the biggest change was in 2021. In August of 2021, the FDA gave approval for a new drug, Belbutazan, also known as Wellerig. So when Belbutazan was approved, which is the store brand Wellerig, I said, sign me up. The clinical trial was about 60 people and a lot of them were on the Facebook group. And so they were saying that their, their tumors are getting smaller and smaller. The tumors in my spine, eyes and ears are not cancerous. They're made of blood vessels. However, the tumors on my kidneys and pancreas are cancer. When the drug came out, I said, sign me up by November. 15th of 2021, I started the drug. Urology has been seeing me about once a year. However, the head of urology asked me to come in extra, to come in after six months, six more months to be seen because they wanted to see how my tumors are progressing with the well rig. And so that's why I'm here today. Yesterday I had the scan and today I will get those results when I meet with urology or any of my tumor shrinking the well rig. I'm gonna find out how um, they should know about my kidneys, my pancreas, and a little bit of my spine. I mean, we'll be in the pictures inadvertently. So we look at the left kidney first because there's nothing we really see at all in the oh. left kidney, which is your That's... spleen. Okay, and you, oh, it's, you see, you don't see any tumors because of, no I've tumors. had surgery and then well rig. The left, yeah. Okay. And so here, you see that the kidney is like this whiter color almost. Mm -hmm. That's because it's taking up the dye, the contrast dye, because it's a very vascularized organ, and so it's very homogeneous. Um, we don't, we, so this is normal, this is the, where the, the urine fills on the inside, but the meat of the kidney, small little cyst, but no, no tumors or masses here. So that all looks great, okay? You can see maybe a, a defect here where you previously had your surgery. So that all looks good. Your right kidney, there's a, 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 a growth off of here, which is one tumor. That's the one that's measuring about 2.6 centimeters. And then here's the one down here, measuring about, about oh, the same, 2.5 centimeters. So, you know, they're not at that threshold of three centimeters we like patients get them before we operate on them, yeah. but they're getting close. Yeah. And despite you being on Belzucafan, yeah. they're getting slightly bigger. Mm. So we were discussing in conference, it's likely within the next 18, 24 months or so, you may need surgery to remove those. That being said, we hope that the Belzutifan can keep the rest of the kidney completely quiet. Okay? Oh. And what we think, we don't have really good data for this, is that for, for larger, well-established tumors, the Belzutifan may not work as well as it does at kind of treating things that are smaller. And we haven't done the studies to prove all of this yet, but this is all things that, that it's are- It's all new. It's all new. It's, it's all, all new. new. It's a whole frontier. It's a whole frontier.